Also, in the case of Kruskal-Wallis, the test itself will give you one p-value. And that p-value will say, hey, there is something going on, but you will not know which group is different from which. So also, after Kruskal-Wallis, you have to do post hoc tests. There are two ways to do this, two functions. You have this one, the Kruskal multiple comparisons function, and the done test function. So basically, that's what you do after Kruskal-Wallis test. You perform done test. Okay. What is the difference? This one does not produce p-values. So people who really like p-values, they want to use this one. This one allows to compare all to all and allows to compare everything to one control. The done test, by default, will compare everything to everything. So where can you find these functions? Kruskal MC is in this package. So I'm going to load it. And let's take a look at the documentation. So it's multiple comparisons after Kruskal Wallace. So exactly what we need between treatments or treatments versus a control. So basically, if you want to work with the default settings, it works the same as LM. It needs, or as Kruskal Wallace, as the Kruskal test, it needs a formula and it needs the data. So when I run this, what does he give? He will give me the difference that he sees between the groups based on your data. And this is the difference that there should be between the groups if there was really a difference between these two groups. So he says here, all these observed differences are smaller than the ones that you should have to say that there is a difference. So in all cases, he says, no, I cannot say that there is a difference between the groups. So no p-values. Now, if you report this eh, and this, every statistician should be happy with that. So you really don't need p-values here, however. Now, you see here that by default, he does, he compare everything to everything. If you really, really, really want to have p-values, then you can use this package. You can use the done test function in this package. Yeah, multiple comparisons using rank sums. Rank means non-parametric, okay? How does it work? Let's take a look here. You have to give him the formula, you have to give him the data, and you have to set the method argument yeah, to the multiple testing correction that you want to use. So when I do this, I get p-values. Here we are. And you can take a look at the documentation I have not time to go into detail here, but you will not find anything that allows you to specify that you want to compare everything to one control. So done test will always compare everything to everything. 